Greetings, Internet friends. Welcome to another episode of the Synergy Cafe online show featuring speaker, entertainer, close-up illusionist, and marketing alchemist, Magic Brad. It's the Internet Lifestyle Show about career, finance, relationships, spirituality, and wellness. We're moving the online chatter over to real-life activity. And now, please welcome your host of Synergy Cafe, Magic Brad. Hey, Internet friends, Magic Brad, Synergy Cafe, and the Synergy Collaborative, and I'm going to turn up my volume. we got a new friend on. This is the third one I've done today, and here we go. And are you there? I'm here. His name is Brian Basilico. Not Basilica, but Basilico. <laughs> and mm-hmm. Now, you're also in the Northern Hemisphere, right? You're kind of, where are you at? Yeah, I'm in Aurora, Illinois, which is the home of Wayne's World. Party on, excellent, woo woo woo. <laughs> you know, so that's uh, that's the claim to fame, baby. Got it. <laughs> Aurora, did they used to make like a model race car? Yeah, thought, I'm not sure about that. I, I don't thought know. there was that an was Aurora Aurora race car set, electric race cars. <laughs> yeah, there's lots of Auroras. I mean, there's you know Aurora, Colorado. There's Aurora, Illinois. So who knows? It could just be a brand name. I'm not sure. Borealis, all that kind of stuff. Yeah, Borealis. Yeah, you got that too. <laughs> okay, I do these kind of fast to get them all done, and just to, it's just to get to know and like who you are and all that. So uh, tell us a little bit about yourself. How long have you lived there? Sure. So I've lived here for uh, 17 years, and uh, I've been living in Chicago since I was 12. I was born and raised in New York, and uh, I came out of the womb as a musician and since then have worked in electronics and uh, video production. I owned a commercial recording studio and I've been running my business, B2B Interactive Marketing, now for 17 years, which is uh, online marketing. Started out doing business card CDs. You remember those things, the Mm -hmm. little business card CDs? Started out doing that. And of course, now you can't get a CD player anymore in uh, computers and pretty much everything's done online. So it's, it's morphed and evolved into an online marketing strategy company. Got it. So I saw you had a dog earlier. Is it? Yep. You got you got kids. Are you married? What, what else? Uh, I am married, and uh, kids are millennials, so they're older, and uh, they both live in. One lives in downtown Chicago. One's actually getting transferred. He works for PepsiCo to North Carolina. So, so if he gets stuck on the computer stuff, he can always ask the kids, right? Exactly. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So tell me more about uh, what you do with your work as far as uh, the online marketing and such. What do you sell? Yeah. Well, I mean, the biggest thing I do is like I call myself an online strategist. And so my my tagline or the way that I promote it is I say I help business owners find their ideal customers online and create more sales. And I show them why and then teach them how. So the biggest thing about my business is I try to work with business owners who want to learn a system that as has been proven to help them, you know, basically grow their sphere of influence, find their right customers, bring them into their website, get them on their email list, get them to follow them on social media, and ultimately, you know, create more sales. It's all about a value proposition. Where a lot of people, um, I just wrote a book called uh, The Bacon System, Everything I Do is Bacon. And the Bacon System is a 12-step program for people that have tried this and tried that and tried this and it doesn't work. And this actually systematizes everything. So I've done that with a handful of clients with much, much success. And um, now I've got it where I do it one-on-one as a coaching program. I have a 12-week course that I teach. I have a weekly mastermind that I do. So, And I think one of the biggest differences is I am a techie. So I've built over 1,000 websites. I've done, I was a programmer. I did Macromedia Director, a video producer, audio producer. Um, so I know all the tech stuff. So one of the things I do, I call them doing views. So when I'm coaching and teaching people, I actually do it for them and show them how to do it. And if they don't know how to do it, I just set it up for them and then kind of guide them through the process. So, so it's, I, it's really I was just gonna I was just gonna say we, earlier when we talked, you talked about those CD business cards. You've been around a while, so oh, oh yes. sort of blaze yeah. the trail on this because a lot of people they just get into this stuff and they they buy a, a program or something and they think that okay now I can sell this to other people but there's there's a lot of other stuff you need to know and also you need to uh, have been around real life because um, like I was interviewing someone uh, a week ago and she was uh, also a brand strategist and a relationship building kind of thing and she said that a lot of people the way they market on the internet it's like walking into a bar running across the room and kissing a girl on the mouth 
Exactly. Yep. That's what most people are doing. They're just going right for it. They're not developing any relationships. So kind of what you're talking about is you got to kind of do the right thing as opposed to just jumping on it. Exactly. My first book was called It's Not About You, It's About Bacon, Relationship Marketing in the Social Media World. And my first business I opened in 1979, it was a recording studio in my dad's basement. And back then I was actually doing content marketing. I would actually print out, I would create stories and I would print them out on an Atari 400 and a dot matrix printer. <laughs> I'd literally go in and cut them into pieces, put them on 11 by 17 piece of paper with a header, uh, take it out to a printer, have it printed and folded and then mail that out. And so the, the thing I always say is that the principles never change in marketing. It takes time. You have to build relationships. And it, it really is about getting people to know, like, and trust you. you know, that's, that's well, a, what a lot of people thought was because now I can send out an email to 10,000 people, they thought that I can reach more people, so I'm going to make more money. But they haven't done the relationship building portion right. of it. Yeah, no, you, you can get you know, 10,000 people on a list, but if these people don't know you, if they're not buyers, if they don't understand what you're selling, if they're not aligned with what it is that you have to sell, you're basically sending out noise. That's why we and, do these videos so you can actually see the people and you know that they're right, humans. <laughs> <laughs> right, exactly. Yeah, I love it. Um, so yeah, no, you're spot on. I mean, it's it's all about building those relationships. I mean, I've got relationships to, to this day, you know, that I started in 1979, who I still work with, you know, so it's it's, a, it's been an evolution of things that I've done over the course of those years. Well, the relationship sticks with you as opposed to if you built a bunch of links on MySpace, well, too bad, you know? <laughs> MySpace, what's that? <laughs> it's not mine. <laughs> so before I ask my final and favorite question, why don't you tell us how you, we can get a hold of you if maybe you do like a, do you do like a complimentary consult to get to know you mm -hmm. before or anything? How do we, how do we find you? Yeah, absolutely. So if you search Brian Basilico, you'll find me everywhere. It's B-R-I-A-N-B-A-S-I-L-I-C-O. And probably the best places to find me would be search out Bacon Podcast. It's just baconpodcast.com, brianbasilico.com. Uh, I'm more than happy you can fill out a form on there. I'm more than happy to do a consultation with people half hour free um, using you know the kind of technology you're using and kind of get to know them and learn about what their business is and see if it's a good fit. Got it. That's uh, that's the way to do it. Also, I'm assuming you're on Facebook, the good old uh, Mark Zuckerberg's platform. I am on Facebook, but unfortunately, for some reason this week, they blocked me, and I have not been able to get in, and I don't know what I did to get in jail, but I'm in jail right now. So uh, it, depending on there. when this airs, go look up Brian Basilico. You'll at least find my pages. They think they're, they're punishing there. us. All you got to do is jump over to LinkedIn, right? <laughs> yeah, exactly. You can find me on LinkedIn or Twitter or any of those things, and you know, Instagram, uh, Pinterest, all of the social media platforms. Okay, here's my big why question. Why is okay. it you're doing this as opposed to why didn't you start a band or create a publishing house or why are you doing what you're doing? What's the what's the passion? I discovered over the years that my passion and my superpower is teaching. I love teaching. I teach at universities. I teach at uh, community colleges. And I love educating people. I love taking and learning things and then basically training people how to do that. So that's always been my passion. I could do it for people, but I don't get as much out of that as I do teaching people how to do it for themselves and then watching them walk on their own two feet and, and watching them succeed. Cool. Mm -hmm. That's exactly it. And that's whenever I ask that question, it's usually someone helping other people. So there's hope for humanity, as I say. That's Amen, good. Brother. <laughs> it's all about moving the online chatter back into real life activity. And who knows, maybe someday we'll uh, cross paths and meet in person. I'm sure we will at some kind of conference somewhere. So. Okay, appreciate you taking the time today to be on Synergy Cafe, and maybe we'll do another one of these down the road. Thanks again. Thanks, Brad. I appreciate it, man.